Guitar Buddies, that was the beautiful Fleetwood Mac classic, Albatross. So I'll start with the main guitar part. I started on a B note on the 7th fret of the E string. And then I'm playing a partial A chord, at C sharp, E and A, on 6, 5 and 5 on the top three strings. Then going to a partial E major 7 chord. That's B, D sharp, and G sharp on four, four, and four. So, and again, and then I play. So start on B, C sharp. So I'm going on the A string two four. E, C sharp, so two, four, two, four. Slide up to G sharp on six on the D string. Back to F sharp on four. Then I play two C sharps on four on the A string. Slide up to G sharp, back to F sharp again, six to four on the D string. Then a couple of slides again to C sharp on four. Then F sharp E, four to two on the D string. Then F sharp, C sharp, E, four, four, two, four on the D string, four on the A string, two on the D string. And then we're back into a repeat of the start. And then the first lick's the same. So I'm just B, C, E, sorry, B, C sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And then variation here. So I slide to G sharp on six on the D string. B, C sharp, four, six on the, e, on the G string. Another slide to G sharp on six. Back to... F sharp on four. And then slide to C sharp on four. E on two. So four on the A string, two on the D string. Four, six, two, E. Then C sharp, F sharp, four, four. Four, two. Okay, and then we're in to the harmony parts. So um, again, I'll go through the first guitar part, and then we'll look at the second guitar a little later. So I played this. You can play on the second string. I like to play on the G string, and so I was bending from F sharp to G sharp. So I'm just bending on 11 to 13. Little bend, release, bend. Then release back to 11. Nine. Bend again. Then release. Back to 11. And again, release. G sharp to F sharp, then F sharp to E, kind of nice to slide that, 11 to 9, I just played C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, E, so 11, 11, 11, 9, and then we've got a repeat.
And the second time, we just played it a little simpler. 11, 11, 9. C sharp, F sharp, E. Okay. Then we go into the uh, slide guitar part. And uh, then we're coming out of that. We've got uh, this, uh, this guitar I played the high part here, the, the sort of lower part, sorry. So I start by bend, a pre-bend D sharp to E. So that's 11, bending to 12, but releasing. Then B to C sharp on 12 to 14. And again. And then D sharp, release, C sharp on nine, B on seven or B on 12, however, however you want to play it. Then I play A, B, C sharp, G sharp. Yeah. So that was 14, 12, 14, 13. and then work back to the start. Just the same so far. And this is slightly different. So this one I'm playing. Slide to C sharp, E, C sharp, F sharp, E. So four, two, four, four, two. Okay then. Then this look again. So F sharp, G sharp, four to six on the D string, four to six on the G string. And then I finish with C sharp, E, F sharp, going to G sharp. Okay, so that's guitar one. All right, so guitar two comes in on the harmony parts and then um, we've got basically I'm playing when guitar one is playing I'm playing on the second guitar I'm bending 14 up to 16 A to B release to 14 G sharp on 13 Bend back to 14. So bend to B, release to A, G sharp, A, B. Then again, release. So 16 to 14. B to A. And A to G sharp, 14 to 13. Then E, A, E. G sharp, 14, 14, 14, 13. And then that repeats. And just play that second time a little simpler. E, A, G sharp, 14, 14, 13. Okay, and then there's the slide part, and then more harmony guitar. So uh, this time I'm playing up, um, sorry. So over that one, 
I'm playing a semitone, release, G sharp, bent up to A, release to G sharp. So I'm I'm now on 16 to 17, release, 12, 14. So A release to G sharp, E to F sharp, twice. And then we go down. So G sharp, bend to A, release, F sharp, E. And then to finish off, just releasing D sharp. So bend to E. So basically the same on the next string down. 16 release, 14, 12. Okay, and that's the end of guitar part two. So next we'll take a look at the slide part. The slide guitar pops in and out intermittently throughout the song. The first lick I played was a very simple, just a slide up and down between 11 and 12 on the E string. So D sharp, E, e. so just D sharp and E. And then just slide into 11, seven, so D sharp, B, G sharp on four, back to seven. So all based around the E major scale. So Then just some simple G sharp to F sharp, that's nine to seven on the B string. And then the slide guitar ducks out for a little while and comes back in during some of the harmony playing with some, again, some simple, just G sharp to F sharp. That's 16 to 14 on the E string. Then just a kind of A, G sharp, F sharp. Again, 17, 16, 14. And then we've got just another little, little pause. And then we come in at G, D sharp, E, F sharp. Uh, back to D sharp. Okay. And then another G sharp to F sharp. Nine to seven. Same octave higher. Okay, and then the next part, slide guitar part, is where the slide guitar takes over. So we go all the way up to B. All the way up on the 19th fret. And then we slide from 21 down to 19. Then 14 to 16. So C sharp, B, F sharp, G sharp. Then again. Repeat and then. But the second time add a C sharp to B at the end. Okay. And then the other two guitars come in with some harmony. And we've again just got some slides from G sharp to F sharp. For 16 to 14. Okay, and again, nine to seven of the B string. And then we're back into the kind of first melody again with the that comes in and we've got another one of those starting on the D sharp, D, E, F sharp, back to D sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, D sharp. Then another G sharp to F sharp. 
9 to 7 on the B string, same an octave higher, then an A, G sharp, F sharp, and finish on F sharp to E. So that's 17, 14, 17, 16, 14. Then 14, 12. Okay, so you can just listen to the song and hear where those various licks come in. And it's a great tune. And next we'll just take a look at the uh, brilliant yet very, very simple bass part. So the bass couldn't really be simpler. We've just got an open E. And then we've just got an F sharp on two. E. F sharp. And it's just those two notes. So it's very easy to listen to the song and hear the changes. And so uh, if you're a beginner, that's a great song. So I hope you've enjoyed. Bit of Fleetwood Mac and Albatross. Thanks for watching, buddies.